Hey everyone, it's October 25th, and today is the Chaos Community Weekly Call. I'm Elizabeth, even though I say Chaos Community here. I am Elizabeth, I'm the Chaos Community Manager, which is why I'm the one speaking here right now, facilitating this meeting. Um, I hope everybody's doing good today. Um, yeah, let's get into it. You would think I know what I'm doing because I do this literally ever like all the time and I still am like, where's the button? I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Sorry. Someday, someday I'll be like on it, efficient. No, you're, you're not alone. Thank goodness. Okay, if you can do me a favor and add, uh, add your name to the agenda if you want to. And uh, here's the prompt for today. What nickname has your family, <clears throat> nickname or nicknames have your family and friends given to you? Um, I love these <clears throat> chinchilla. Oh my gosh. Troll <laughs> master guide flip. Oh, these are great. Mine are so boring compared to these. Awesome. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to work on my family and friends to be a little more creative. Jeez. These are great. We can, we can come up with something. I'm afraid. <laughs> with that. No, I, I think I'm good. <laughs> Actually, now that you say it, I'm oh. good. Oh. <laughs> Georg rejects nicknames. That's a safe move. That's that's a good plan. Yeah, Georg, I like that. The, be the, like, nope. Yeah, the nickname I had, the one nickname I've ever been given, I was not able to reject. Ah, uh, so sad. Because that is a pretty good strategy to just shut it down. Just shut it down. But yeah. People have to, you know, participate and actually respect your, your yeah. wishes to do that. So, yeah. <clears throat> okay, let's jump in. Um, just a reminder, we're going to try to do this with every chaos meeting. Just to say, a reminder that this meeting does fall under the chaos code of conduct. So, please be kind to each other during these meetings. And no, this wasn't prompted by anything. We're just, just a friendly reminder. Um, and if you want to infer that being kind means to like laugh at the things that I say that's totally fine that falls right in with the code of conduct so feel free to do that, even if they're dumb jokes, you can still laugh that's fine, I appreciate you. Um, and if you are facilitating a meeting if you don't mind just bringing that up um, at any of the working groups that would be great. Um, the next item is our charter for our comms working group so yes i'm going to pass this along to Georg is that cool. Yep, totally cool. Um, we have a meeting tomorrow. So the, the chart itself, we've discussed it several times here on this call, and I believe it's in pretty good shape. So we want to form the group officially. And tomorrow at, I believe, 9 a.m. Central Time, we have a meeting. It's on the chaos calendar. If you want to join please do we are using a different zoom channel though not the regular chaos channel because of other chaos meetings at the time but you're very welcome to join and tomorrow i guess the plan is to see who wants to participate who wants to do certain work in the working group and then we'll Start from there. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll find out tomorrow. And I did I did do my action item like 10 minutes before this meeting started. I did start a chaos Slack channel. So if you want to join that, the link is in the minutes here. Any other Questions, comments, anything to add to this topic? Will the plan, do you know if the plan, Georg or Venya, you're on to um, kind of report back to this meeting as to kind of how things are going? I would presume that we'll treat it just like any standard working group, but for the first several weeks, maybe even like the first month or so, we're probably gonna have like general reports out to the general public, okay. both as a way of saying, hey, here's how this upstart is going. And also a way of saying, hey, here's what recruitment is gonna look like, what planning and operations will look like, et cetera. Okay. 
Yeah, because I'm super interested. It's not in, <clears throat> excuse me, it's not in this document, but like super interested in like how you're like timing things, you know, like what's the order of events? I like, I don't like, trust all of you to do that, but I'd be super interested to hear how that's going. Um, yeah. Super interested to hear how like you had mentioned like newcomers are joining and how they're getting into just all that kind of stuff. And yeah. that'd be cool. Um, I mean, I don't expect any like dashboards be to be coming out anytime soon necessarily, no, but I assume we'll be reporting out on goals and objectives and mm -hmm. what community goals are going to look like for the group, um, that kind of thing. Okay. So it'll be more okay. up cool. in the air for a bit. Any other questions about this group? Lots of opportunities to get involved if you are a newcomer and you would like to do that. We would love that. So, yeah. All right. Well, let's move on. Events of interest. Look at all these. Oh, my gosh. There's a lot. So first one, who will be at All Things Open and are their get togethers already set up? I will not be there. Sophia raised her hand. Else? Considering a Discord community get together. Okay. Is there a place where you all can connect uh, with each other? Do you want to set something up in chaos so or? Socially Constructed uh, has a few people going, but it wasn't really enough for me to like set up an event. If Chaos has enough people going and are interested, I wouldn't mind just merging the two into a larger get together. But I know that um, Dave, the historian for Community Manager Live is gonna be attending and he actually lives in Raleigh. So, if there are enough people, we can probably just set something up that way. I know Justin Flory is going to be there as well. Sophia, do you know Justin? He just got hired at Red Hat. He's, I want to say, one of the Fedora community managers. Yeah. Justin's been in this meeting a few times. He um, often comes to the DEI working group and he's on our DEI audit team as well. He came from UNICEF. He's super awesome. So um, I don't know if there's a place for you to all, all to connect, but you, I mean, I love it when awesome people come together and meet each other. So we should try to facilitate that in some way because he's awesome and you're awesome, Sophia. So let's bring you together. Uh, but it looks like maybe it's just the two of you from Chaos that are going to be there and Venya, so three. So I don't know if that really warrants a whole separate spiel. I don't know. What do y'all think? If you want to do something, how about it? Yeah. yeah. I think we just try to find each other. I would love to meet everyone in person. So um, I don't know, there's no like center of gravity to meet. So I could just kind of throw something in Slack when I'm on site. Sure. Yeah, I can also provide my cell phone if needed. And Georg says there's going to be two Batergians there. Um, yeah, uh, Justin, I know, is on Chaos Slack to Sophia, so you can ping him directly. Um, and there's Venya's number. And Georg, are those two Batergians in, our, in Chaos Slack? Do you know? Okay, they are. So um, if you just want to share who they are and like how to get a hold of them too for Sophia and Venya and whoever else. So, oh, there you go. <clears throat> okay, cool. So it looks like an informal thing. Um, next item on our list of events of interest is our new Badger orientation, which is happening tomorrow also. That's tomorrow, right? Yeah, tomorrow at 11 a.m. U.S. Central. 
So um, another opportunity to get involved if you're a newcomer. Um, we have quite a few folks already signed up for that, but we can certainly make room for more. I think we have 11 people signed up to become new Badgers now. So I'm ecstatic with that because that will essentially double the team of Badgers that we have and give our current Badgers a little break <laughs> since October is a is a big month <laughs> for a lot of applications. So um, that will give everybody a little break. And then hopefully by the spring when we have another push, which is historically how it goes, we'll have a larger group and we can um, spread those out a little bit better as well. So if you want to join that, just reach out to me and I'll um, give you, it is on the chaos calendar, but I will be happy to add you um, to that event um, specifically, that invitation. <clears throat> Sorry. So if anybody has any questions about that, just let me know. Um, and the next one is the LF Member Summit. Is this what it is called? I think so. Um, it changes I don't know. time. <laughs> <laughs> um, so anyway, I don't know who's going to be at the Member Summit in uh, in Tahoe, but I certainly will be there. I know Sean's going to be there. Yeah. And I'll be there. I'll be there. I'm arriving Sunday night. Okay. now because there's actually a bunch of stuff happening on monday okay. looks like georg may be there as well okay cool so if you um decide you're going to be there um you can reach out to matt sean and georg to maybe connect with each other have a coffee together a chaos coffee um, the next one is uh, BenchCon, which comes from our Chaos Asia Pacific community, and Bench is that's around benchmarking, not actual benches that you sit on. <laughs> so, um, although that would be a cool conference too, if you're just like sharing different designs or benches, I don't know, it, maybe that exists, I don't know. But um, BenchCouncil.org is having this virtual event. I think it's November third. I think um, actually we can look. Um, but if you are interested, I think that they have saved a few spots for chaos folks, so if you are oh November 6 I was so wrong not even close. Um, they have but they have scheduled or, or set aside a few slots for chaos folks, so if you are interested in giving a virtual talk around benchmarking specifically. Um, or ospo work um, health metrics that kind of thing, you can just reach out to Shoya. Um, who is the community lead for Chaos Asia Pacific, and she's in our um, our Chinese channel, so you can reach out to her, and she will give you the specifics on how to make that happen. Any questions on that? I don't really have answers, but if you have questions, we can sort it out together. <clears throat> Okay, Venya has applied, said CFP was very easy, just needed a title and some description of your talk, and then that was it. So easy peasy. Um, the next item on here is ChaosCon at FOSTEM in February. So who wants to lead that discussion? I can comment a little bit. It seems like this is happening very quickly, which is good. <laughs> um, so. Uh, it does appear that we have uh, a hotel, and the so thanks to Georg for tracking that down. Um, not quite sure where it is, but I think we're set there. Brussels, uh, probably. It is in Brussels. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about more specificity within yeah. Brussels, but you are correct. Um, the intention is to have a half day in the morning for ChaosCon you know, kind of like what we did in Dublin. And then in the afternoon, there would be a session, two different rooms. So one room in the morning and then two rooms in the afternoon, uh, one for a Grimoire Lab session, and then Sean, one for an Augur session. Mm -hmm. So we're still kind of working out the finances on it and uh, how we get that done. Sean, I had sent you a message on that yeah. as well. Just I responded. To... I don't know if you saw my response late earlier this morning. Okay, um, so anyway, it's it's pretty straightforward. I'm I'm pretty happy this is happening. Um, we'll have to do obviously the CFP 
pretty quickly. Sophia, did you do the last one for Dublin? I forget. Did you not the CFP, but like the I supported CFP. it, but I didn't send it. Okay. Um, I have to just support it again if you need someone to lead it. Okay. I would think we I think could Kevin just. Kevin and I worked on that. I think we just probably make a copy of the submission form for the last one, right? And yeah, I think that's what we did last time. We just used what we had used for the prior year. And if we need to make a slight adjustment based on okay. what we're doing with virtual pre recorded and time slots, I think that's okay. easy enough to change. Right on. Um, okay, so the nice thing about this is we'll, yeah, we will use our own registration system. We won't be part of any other registration system at all, uh, like for the LF summits. So application should be uh, quite a bit easier, particularly from a financial perspective. So that's nice. Um, so anyway, I think just at this point, it looks like we're kind of set up with the location. So I think we're, we're we would move into that next step of setting up um, like the the yeah, the the um, registration system, the submission system, um, a prospectus for for support, um, those kind of things. So I think we're at that spot now. That's it. Do we want to start today with the last twenty minutes of this meeting with a planning session, or do we want to wait till next week? We we may as well. I mean, it's already October twenty fifth. Yeah, this will happen pretty fast. It's a little over three months. I just had to count on my fingers. Mm -hmm. Good job. And then <laughs> I guess maybe one other thing is we're planning on. I, Georg, I think you're muted right now, but we're also planning a booth. Is that what they're called at Fosdem? So that was also kind of put out there. Um, so, if, oh, you're back. Yeah, uh, I'm. I'm cooking. Well. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah. yes, you are cooking. Sorry. Thank you. I'll, I'll show you. It's going to be a crock pot with beef and broccoli. The booth. So, the booth applications are open until sometime early November, and we had some folks interested in helping out. So I, um, I think we just need to fill out the form. And Emilio already created a Google Doc that we can work in. So anyone wants you to jump that? in? Is it, did he post it? It's uh, somewhere in the Slack conversation about the booth. OK. With all the meeting notifications, it might have moved up quite a bit. I can find it again and resurface it. Okay, that'd be cool. And then, so the idea of the booth, and we can talk about this, is FOSDEM has these booths. They're not for companies who sponsor. These are really community-oriented. And we tried to get it in the past. We weren't so successful. So maybe this time, fingers crossed. And we can request one day or two days, the first day or second day or both days. And then when we get the booth, we'll have to figure out what do we want to do there. Give out stickers, um, we bit, uh, circulated the idea of maybe having some mascot that we want to feature, a chaos mascot. I, I was throwing that out there to find the discussion. Can we just use the Philadelphia Flyers mascot, Gritty? Because that's kind of chaos embodied. I'm kidding. I'm not familiar. No, sorry. We don't have a mascot that I know of, though, do we? We don't yet. Um, I, so I, like I see it. Matt asked about the tables, and the tables at Boston are all over the campus. So this is at the university. So. In different buildings and different uh, entrance areas, uh, different hallways, they have a whole bunch of tables set up. And last year, no, last time Fosdem was in session, I spent some time at the Apache booth that was somewhere on the second floor. And I've talked to other people, and they're all over. There's not one space for these tables. And that's what these booths are? The, these tables yes okay. i think 
I think they call them stands. Okay. So if we were to, um, going back to the mascot thing, like maybe we should make this a thing. Like, well, I don't know what the process is for, for, do we just collect ideas? Do we collect images? Do we, like, how, how do we start this? I've never made a mascot before. I have never either. Yeah, like Vanya said, it's a branding project. So the designer will have to, like, think of mascot to recently had like a mascot at the to-do group and it's so beautiful mm. yeah so i i would throw it toward the communication team to like develop it and then after that um send approvals and also large community requests to the chaos board can we like elicit ideas from the community or yeah but yeah, that should know. definitely be uh housed with the board because that's a branding decision like it's actually a really deep branding decision okay so should i like what should, should i open like a google doc like how should we collect community ideas like what's the best way to start doing that well, um, what we need to do is we need to build a system that says, here's what we want this mascot to represent, uh, basically provide what is effectively an artist statement for people to like work off of. And then once we have that statement where it's like, this is who we want, this is who we want to be, we would love for you to make a mascot that represents it. So we have to, we have to put together those requirements or those thoughts or like get those juices flowing in a central area and then present it to the community afterward. Okay, so it's like a, a push, not a pull. So we're not pulling yeah. ideas from the community. We're going to push what the branding team thinks. You need a out. central nucleic idea of who we are and then it goes out and then it receives that creative deliberative discussion and then people start to submit and then we say, all right, here's some approaches that we can take. What do you like? What do you not like? That'll select a smaller group of artists and then we go and make it official. So it's it's an ebb and flow. It's a push and pull. I would, I would start it with a push though, because it's a branding decision. So it must be a centralized decision first. What part, so what part is centralized though? Just the sort of what we are part, and then do we solicit art? Central or? goals, values, objectives, and promotions, just like any other branding decision, it should come from the nucleus. So what about a, what about a process uh, like that nucleus uh, defines what we want the mascot to say, and then we give people a chance to generate something that they think represents that. Yep, exactly. Um, okay. A lot of people will do it for like an artist competition or something along those lines. Um, it's maybe not the best example, but it's a really, really good example of the process. I would take a quick look at the New Zealand flag redesign process that they did in New Zealand and just steal that process. I had no idea New Zealand redesigned their flag, so. Yeah, it, it, it was, the actual execution was horrifyingly bad, but the process was good. Okay. So this is something that we can task the new comms working group with, or? If you wanted to, um, the comms working group can do implementation and then push that implementation up to the board get approval for what we want this brand character to look like or act like or whatever it is. And then that creates a um, prompt for the community to create artwork on. Ruth, does that sound about similar to what you would say?
Yeah, surrounds muted. Yes, it does. Is this is this something that we would have to get approval from the board for? Does the board oh, care? I, I, I think I don't know. I would think they might want to weigh in. Um, I mean, they have to make decisions on most branding and graphics. Uh, character okay. is definitely going to be one of those ones that receives pervasive views. So the board would need to be involved. Um, we, I mean, we haven't involved the board in many of those decisions to date. So a lot of our original branding was done by the LF design team yeah. that was pr provided to us. Um, things on like redesign of the website. I mean, the board was notified, but it wasn't like an official vote or anything like that. Well, I uh, have run into issues with board uh, decisions with like the Chaos Podcast um, logo thing that we had for the okay. Chaos Cast Abridged. Um, so like it would effectively be the exact same conversation there too. Um, but yeah, that's definitely a, a core branding decision. Like I would call it more than core because we are personifying chaos that probably requires the brand decision. And here I was thinking we'll just find something cute and love it, and then we'll be good. <laughs> That's what I was thinking too, Georg. I'm like, oh, a little furry thing. That should be easy enough. <laughs> I mean, we could do that, is, but would it be evocative? Um... Sorry, my dogs are barking, but um, okay. And I don't mean my feet hurt. I mean, my actual dogs are barking. Um, so we can, uh, so we'll bring this up tomorrow at the comms working group. If people do have thoughts on this, uh, um, feel free to drop them in that Slack channel. If you want to like, just express your opinion or your thoughts, but you can't attend or don't necessarily want to be involved in the group, but you do have some concerns or thoughts or comments or whatever, um, just drop them in the Slack and then we can incorporate them in the meeting. Does that work? Is that cool? I mean, that group will have a lot on their plate already, um, so I don't know if this is something that they can take on right away, but I don't know. I mean, it would be great. It would be great to have something for that for that chaos con. But yeah, that's kind of a tight timeline, so who knows? I guess we'll see. Uh, okay, let's move on because we have about five minutes left before we end this meeting early and move to uh, the no, that's wrong. We're five minutes over. I can do math. <laughs> okay, well, we'll just quickly go through this. Um, are we sharing the DEI metric survey information at All Things Open? I don't think so, right? Because I think Anita is still yeah. trying. Sorry, sorry for cutting short, but um, I'm going to talk to Justin for, about that. Like, Justin is also going for All Things Open, like Justin Flory. So were you, I, re, remind me Ruth, were you talking about sharing the results of that or sharing that it exists and trying to get people to, to fill it out? Trying to tell people that it existed and then trying to get people to fill it out. So okay. Sophia's on the venue that's on the DEI, I think they're having it on the first day, which is Sunday. So um, Justin is going to be there. So we are, I'm going to talk to Justin later today about it. Okay, that makes sense. And then quickly, the last thing on here, um, Venya would like to ask about the Chaos Cast episodes. So I'll let you speak to that, Venya. 
Sure, this will be real quick. Uh, so for those who are unaware, um, we have kind of started playing around with this concept of taking old Chaos Cast episodes and then uh, piecemealing them together to figure out what takeaways are included, creating a Chaos Cast abridged. And uh, this is both a way of repurposing content into smaller content and also gearing whether or not we need to reach out to those individuals to re-record or whether or not there's old information in it. <laughs> This is all great and wonderful, but the thing about that is it would really matter a lot more if the community takeaways were selected by community members. So if we have any volunteers, we really only need maybe five people to watch your own uh, or listen to your own singular podcast, give us maybe seven or eight takeaways that'll add up to about 10 minutes. And then I will piecemeal those together, create it, and then send it out. Um, I just feel like it hits a lot better if the takeaways are decided by a community member who's listening to the podcast, as opposed to a core set. And we really only need like five people to do one every once in a while. If you're a regular listener or not a regular listener and you um, have an episode in mind, um, then you just, uh, so are there any boundaries around which episode? Like what's um, the time? Not really, not at the moment. So uh, if you click on that link, that'll show you all of the episodes that we currently have out and set up. But Chloe and I have basically just been uh, cutting them apart um, on our own. So those are all of the ones that are currently done. So the other 62 that we have are all completely fair game. Okay. Um, and effectively, all we really need you to do is give me the episode number, episode title, and then timestamps for the in and out. Um, I actually do have a format already created. Um, if you just want to copy paste that. Um, do. do, do. Pop that there and then here. Are you going to drop that in there? Okay. Yeah. So awesome. that's really all we need episode number, in and out time, and then name it. If you wanted to pop it into Audacity and uh, pull them out, that's bonus points, but you do not need to do that. Really, all we just, all we need is this was interesting. This is also interesting. And this is different than the show notes um, where that they do that just because it's like community it comes from the community so like what is notable to us might be different than the one person who summarizes the episodes for everybody. Is that yeah exactly okay. and if, if it were to come to, from us as chaos members or especially me as a vending contributor because i'm helping to syndicate the content there's just like this kind of bias involved in saying this is incredible when in all actuality a community member is better suited to make those choices gotcha gotcha yeah. awesome all right so if um someone's interested in doing this um volunteer opportunity then they can follow this and reach out to venya on slack Okay, let's uh, go ahead and stop this meeting so we can jump over to the chaos con committee who is planning um, the next uh, next event so we will say goodbye here i'm going to stop recording have a great day everybody we'll see you next time. And I